Hey, this is Greg Shields, and you found another of my courses in this learning path on System Center Operations Manager 2016. This time on the installation and initial configuration of a core SCOM infrastructure. I am author evangelist and a full-time author here at Pluralsight, and I've been working with Operations Manager since back in the days when it was lovingly referred to as MOM. SCOM is not a difficult installation in terms of the click-by-click. -click. That said, however, the thinking and planning that surround a SCOM installation are what's critically important if you're to successfully monitor what you want in your Windows Server environment. We discuss both the planning and the implementation here in this course. Like some of the other System Center tools, SCOM also has a history of being misunderstood by a lot of IT pros. All too often, a SCOM instance gets installed only to see itself ignored when the untuned firehose of alerts from servers and applications start making their way onto pagers and inside inboxes. Framing SCOM's role in the infrastructure, as well as implementing it carefully to avoid that excessive noisiness, is our goal in this introduction. Over the next few hours, we'll walk through the design of a distributed management group. We'll install our SCOM management server, reporting server, and audit collection services. With those in place, we'll discover our Windows Server resources and get agents installed. And you'll leave with the startup configuration you need to begin monitoring your data center behaviors. If you've just been tasked with installing and configuring a System Center Operations Manager environment in your organization, this course is your next stop in brushing up on those skills for success. And then from here, you'll be ready to continue on the learning path as you monitor Windows Server 2016 and monitor Azure resources and web applications. Let's get started.